Hello, I'm Eric from Paraguay, and today we are going to talk about our project that is art painting with OpenCV. Uh, the index. Purpose and necessity of the project. Air canvas explanation. Color picker function. Color picker source code explanation. Applying the mask. Applying max source code explanation. Results. Expected results. Future application and references. Purpose and necessity of the project is to understand the properties of image and recognition. Then we need to distinguish color from image, identify the colors and store it in a vector, create a program that draws according the color is recognizing through the camera, and create an air canvas. Air canvas. An air canvas is a frame where you can paint without touching the screen. Our project consists of two different project programs. The first one is going to be Color Picker. That, as its name says, it's going to detect the color of the markets here. You can see it here. So our program consists in obtaining an image HSB that consists in a hue, saturation, and value. And we're going to use track parts to detect it. To detect it. So we have the source code here. and as we can see on the image, it is detecting the values of the HSB image. So as we can see here, we have a mask from the um, from the pink marker here. Uh -huh. And these are the following values. We, we modify the hue, we modify the saturation, and the values, as well as the color, the marker blue. Then applying the masks. As I mentioned before in the last video, we made a vector inside a vector and we put the colors or the values from the HSB image that we get on the last program and put it inside this vector. Yeah, so if we can see these values, these values are gonna be the values that are inside this vector here, okay. So in this one are gonna be the colors that we're gonna make. This is gonna be a color that we're gonna add later. We actually add a new marker. This is gonna be color green. So if we run the code on the, this point, we're gonna have this kind of mask. We have two frames and it's gonna take the marker color blue and the marker color pink. So these are the expected results we set at the beginning of the project. And the first one is we'll understand how to pick a specific color from an image. We'll detect the contours from an object and from there obtain a point to draw on the screen. We will be able to create a real air canvas. We will draw with the color of the marker we picked on the image. We achieve all these expected results. Getting counters and bounding boxes. So as you can see, we have a new function on our project. We have the code to detect the contours from our pen or from the objects, from the mask, basically. And as you can see, we get the image, we got the poly, and we have this color. This color is gonna be a color purple, as you can see. And it detects the mask of both uh, markers, the marker blue and the marker pink. So yeah. The next part, since it was hard to get the the value of this point using just the contours from the markers, we decide to make a bounding box. And from the bounding box, we get this axis as the drawing draw in paint can show. We're gonna get this point. Uh -huh. So we have to divide the wheel in two, as we can see here. So after dividing this, we're going to draw the bounding box with the color green, as you can see here. And here is the part when we obtain the point X, dividing the width in two. And the one point is gonna be here, it doesn't matter. It's gonna be the same always. So yeah, after that, we already have the point where we're, we're gonna start drawing. From this point, we're gonna start drawing on the canvas. One thing that we should be aware of is that the camera 
is not that accurate. So sometimes he's not gonna get the points, the, this point from the bounding box. When this happens, we need to tell the program to keep pushing back all the points from the vector. So the program won't stop. As you can see here, we are returning the new points. So for drawing on the canvas, as you can see, we have the new function. We're going to call it with vectors. The arguments are going to be type vectors and are going to be the, the result that we obtained from the last two functions, new points. And my colors values is going to be a new value. It's going to be an empty value. So we can put it on the screen. So we're going to draw circles here. We have the points. Then we have the thickness of our pen and the new values that are going to keep drawing on the screen. So we realized by doing this project that this the frame was flipped. So it was mirroring. So if we wanted to move in this way, in this position, on the screen will move in this way. So what we did is was just flip the image, as you can see in this image. Yeah. Later in the video, in the demonstration, I will show you how to how we fix this problem. This problem. Future application. The future application of this project, we think, is to create a remote signing system that it's going to use the face recognition and the drawing canvas. So we can ratify documents from a remote distances. Here are some reference that we had during our project. So we have the main reference here. It's going to be the color detection by Mahomet Barati. It's when we get the source code. And we have the repository on GitHub of already uploaded. So if you want to get it, it's in the description of this video. So here is the demonstration of our project. So as you can see, we have new values here. We declared the video capture as a global variable. We have the vector with the colors. We add the green color. And we get contours, the function of getting contours that is going to return the, the points from the bounding box. Then we're going to have the find color. It's going to find the colors on, from our markers. Then draw on canvas that will draw the circle. And yeah, let's run it. So for that, I need to turn off my my video. So as you can see, I can explain the issue that I explained before. It's when you start, if you want to go to the right, it goes this side. Uh -huh. This goes this side. It's not working because it's flipped. So we're going to try to fix it. So here we are. The only thing that we should do is going to call the flip function. Then we're going to add the image, the output. It's going to be, we're not going to declare a new canvas. So it's going to be image. And we're going to declare type 1. <laughs> now that we have it, should work. And yeah, it's going to be easier for us to draw. So if we put all the colors together, we can see that it's going to recognize the three of them. Uh -huh. So we can draw on it. It's going to be easier for us. So we're going to run it again. We're going to try it individually. So we have the green color. We can write something like OpenCV. So we are getting it. Open that didn't go that good, but anyway, and CV we have it. Open CV so that way I can write my name here. La La Lo. So if you see that it's not recognizing, it's because we have to adjust the color recognition or just put it more in front of the camera, so it's going to be easier for you to recognize it, as you can see. Since I put it right in front of the camera, it's going to be easier for you to detect it. The last one is going to be the pink color. So we have the pink color here. 
this is the best the more accurate color that we have here okay since it's a bright color and yes that's everything for exposition thank you for your attention